Hi guys, it's Robert here and today I'm going to show you how to download, install and set up Flight Gear to work on your computer the best way possible. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your internet browser and by the way Flight Gear, you know, just so you know it's a free flight simulator but you probably already know this, otherwise you wouldn't be watching it. And once you're in your browser, just go to Yahoo or Google or you know, your favorite search machine and type in Flight Gear search it up, go to the main page, to downloads, download central, and just download Flight Gear 2.4, at least right now it's 2.4, it can be 2.6 or 2.8, you know, just, you know, just download the main thing. And f obviously for your system, in my case Windows, and I'm just going to take any of the mirrors, a mirror is basically a download it's gonna download into your download folder you're gonna have something called flightgear.exe you're gonna install it or just double click on it and run it and I'm not sure if it's called flightgear.exe it could also be called flightgear install or something like that it's probably gonna have flightgear in it so you're gonna know wh which file it is just double click on it and follow the instructions and if you get asked at any spot if you want TerraSync, say yes, and if it if it if you get asked if you want Atlas, say no. Atlas, in my opinion, is simply just yeah, not useful. And TerraSync is a application that basically downloads the scenery, which is scenery. It's like what the Earth looks like while you're flying. So if you're flying over Vancouver, it's gonna download what Vancouver looks like and you're gonna have something called flightgear.4.0 now you can either use this or you can also download additional aircraft and I'm gonna show you how to do that to download additional aircraft you need to install two programs before you can actually get working I like downloading additional aircraft simply because in multiplayer you can only see the aircraft you have installed and if you have installed air all aircraft you're gonna see all aircraft and of course you're gonna be able to fly like 50 aircraft instead of 10. So you're just going to type in on your search machine, you're going to type in WinRAR. I don't know if there's anything like this for Mac, but there's definitely something like this for Windows. And you're going to go to the main webpage, which is www.rarlab.com. You're going to go to downloads, downloads whatever version you need. If you want to find out what bit version you are, so for example, if you're 32 bit or 64 bit, you're gonna to go to control panel system and it's gonna say right here system type 64 bit so in my case I would download um, where is it English 64 bit you're gonna download that it's run the installer and you're done now you're gonna go back to your search machine and this time you're gonna search for a program called Vuse. go to its website you're gonna download it for free. Cancel this. You you're obviously gonna continue. I'm just canceling because I already have all these programs. And you're gonna go to your downloads and install it, just the way you did it with all two programs, all the programs before. And once you have it installed, you will have it probably on your desktop. And basically. What WinRAR does, it extracts files. Now this means that it takes files from them being like all coded up to being just a normal folder, you know, like just a normal folder looking like this, you know. And what Woos does, it downloads programs for you super fast, like faster than normally. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your internet browser you're gonna go to your search machine once again back to the flight gear website flight gear and you're gonna go to following to uh, not following to the download central and download 2.4 ver like version 2.4 aircraft and you can either decide to download single aircrafts but I don't recommend this Instead, you're going to download all aircrafts via BitTorrent. And this is just going to download all aircrafts for you. 
and you're gonna go to download torrent click on the download torrent it's gonna download I'm just gonna cancel it alright now once you have downloaded this file to your downloads you're gonna go to your downloads folder and you're gonna have something looking like this aircraft 2.4 just double click on it, mine already has been downloaded so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like and it's gonna look like this hopefully if it doesn't look like this you're probably gonna go into an internet browser and it's gonna ask you do you want to install I think it's gonna ask you do you want to install a serious or something like that just say yes and just close the internet browser if that's been happening and just try opening again and this time it should look like this like it looks right now now um, you're just gonna click on aircraft 2.4 and if you're not there you may be here you're just gonna go to files I don't know you know it's hard to tell right now but it's probably gonna say aircraft 2.4 right here where it says new and you're just gonna click on it and say download and I'm just gonna warn you right now it's gonna take like two hours three hours so do this like overnight that's probably the best thing to do <clears throat> now it's gonna download it into a folder which is within the documents so I just go to documents boost downloads and it's gonna be like a shitload of files right here and they're probably gonna look like three books on top of each other and that's basically what their files are gonna look like and they're all gonna have like names of airplanes and you're just gonna select all of them either by click and select like you know like this or by clicking on the top file which I can show you right here top file and then holding shift and clicking on the bottom file and it's gonna just select all files and you're gonna right click on it and uh, I don't have an example right now you're gonna right click on it and say extract here and this is gonna take about 50 minutes and you're gonna end up with a lot of normal looking folders in this folder you're just gonna select all of them just like I showed you before and press control C which is copy and you're gonna go to com fo um, folder called computer C drive program files times 86 flag gear 2.4.0 data whoops data aircraft I'm just gonna click here and say control V and that's gonna paste all the files in here and as you can see I already have them all right here and if it asks you yes merge and yes copy and replace and you know just and do that for all of the files now once you have that done you're finally ready to actually set up flight gear so it works the most smooth like the smoothest way possible alright now that it has loaded you're gonna probably um, the first time you're gonna open it it's probably gonna look hold on look like this and all you really want to change here is make sure that terracing is on top you can move it around with the arrow buttons terracing needs to be on top just you know so like it's hard to explain just make sure it's on top it doesn't really matter why and you're gonna select your aircraft you want to fly with I'm gonna go next select the airport you want to fly at and by the way do not type in anything right here or right here so for example if you have something like this typed in it's gonna mess up your game and the same if you have it here and the same if you have anything unlogical in here you can by the way use this to start up at carrier so you could type in Nimitz for example but you don't want to have anything type in here you're just gonna you know, you know take your airport select the runway or parking position say next and this is the boxes you're gonna check random objects random trees AI models time of the day noon summer real weather fetch this is optional you can also just choose to have your own weather but you know it's the most realistic horizon effect frame rate limiter I would set it to 18 this is really important the lower the smoother it works 
at least to a certain point. As soon as you get somewhere lo below 15, it's gonna, it's just gonna get more and more choppy the lower you set it. But 18 is really is is my favorite. Ah. 18, 3D clouds resolution doesn't really matter because you can just you know maximize it. Uh, if it if full screen is checked, I prefer it unchecked, but that's your personal decision. Show command line. Atlas needs to be unchecked. Multiplayer should be checked. Terracing should be checked. Terracing should be five five oh five. Multiplayer should be um, call sign. That's like just put in any username you would usually use. In my case, cluster in five thousand out five thousand, and host name is map server. 02.flightgear.org that's the one I prefer to use however you can um, go to this really useful website and I would add this to your favorites which is the flight gear wiki so you're just gonna type in flight gear wiki and this website right here should be added to your favorites it's just such a great website and you can just search up multiplayer And you're gonna have the list of all the servers and where they're lo located, and you're gonna choose the server that's the closest to your position. And yeah, you're gonna once you have chosen the server, you're just gonna um, copy and paste this text right here into here, into host name, and in this, like I said, five thousand and out is five thousand. And what you also want to make sure is that in scenarios aircraft demo is checked, Clemenso demo is checked and by the way to check this you need to press control before you check the, um, before you click on it so aircraft demo, Clemenso demo, Eisenhower demo, Foch demo, Nimitz demo, refueling demo, refueling demo 1 and 2 Vincent demo and that's it, it's just gonna put in a couple of planes in the sky and the aircraft carriers. Just so you know, the Nimitz, which is the main carrier used, is right is located right before the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. And you are also gonna go to Advanced, into Futures, and just check the boxes I have checked. You can pause the video and just check them, just the way it's checked right here. And the same for, actually no, there's nothing else. But well, the same for rendering, and all the other things I've set up this way. And that's it. And that's the way to run flight gear. Just move as way possible. All right. Um, I'm gonna upload a new video soon, which is gonna explain you how to actually fly a plane or a helicopter in flight gear so be sure to check out that video too all right see you later guys